Hello friends and welcome to Now Streaming. Today we have with us Nandish Kumar, a star in both TV and films. Kumar, where did Dilip Kumar become? Madan Kumar came to my mind. Madan Kumar came to my mind. Let's go again. Okay, so it's Nandish Singh Sandhu. Yes, yes. No, I know Nandish Singh Sandhu, of course. I mean, Madan Kumar, Madan Kumar, Madan Kumar. I would have said, you know, literally, Madan Kumar, Nandish Kumar. Hi, this is Nandish Singh Sandhu, and you're watching me on Now Streaming with Shlok Chaturvedi. Hello friends and welcome to Now Streaming. Today we have with us Nandish Singh Sandhu and this time I got it right. Uh, <laughs> star in both TV and films. So, Uttaran Ke Veer Se Leke, Inho Ne Hame Aaj uh, Jamshed Khan of Jubilee and of course Madan Kumar as well. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Madan Kumar is incomplete without using the full name. Madan Kumar Pain Chon. I will say that maybe I will take it out. Can you say it? No, 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 this will be a beep. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So, uh, you know, great, uh, great responses from the show. Um, how are you feeling about it? I think it's good, yeah. It's it's actually overwhelming to be uh, getting such a response from everybody, and not just, not just the audience, as in not just the the OTT watching janta. Mm -hmm. It is from the industry, from the fraternity as well, sure. and 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 that's good because when people watch the show, they they take out the time to find you or find your number from because because you know everybody knows somebody or the other mm. so, so you know certain people finding your number then especially taking out the putting in the effort to message you or call you and tell you that you've been great i think it's god has been really really kind that the show is reaching those heights and people are actually putting in the effort and finding the time to call us and mm -hmm. the cast members and, and the team to to tell us how how well they are connecting with the characters, how they are liking the show, how they are connecting with the story. I think that speaks volumes in itself. Right, and your character is something that majority, uh, like majorly there and the first, okay wait, firstly, before I tell you that, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a nice little story of what happened yesterday. Um, so uh, I had missed out on watching Jubilee when it just uh, released. So. When I spoke with uh, you know Neha about interviewing you, so uh, I said okay, Jubilee, right? Okay, I have to watch this. And before watching it, I went to my mother, and she's like, okay. and, and, I, and I asked her, Mom, uh, I'm watching. I'm going to watch this show. You've already seen it, right? So uh, what do you feel about this character? She's like, which which one? I said Nandish. She's playing uh, Jamshed Khan. She's like, oh, I really like him. I said, yeah. Okay, that's <laughs> nice. That's nice. It's going to be a fun interview. Uh, and then I said, but yeah, could you tell me a little more about, you know, the character and uh, the acting and stuff? Yeah, but he died. I was like, mom, I'm just going to go and watch that show. Oh, she revealed it before. She you. revealed it. And she knew I was going to go watch it. I said, mom, I'm going to watch it. But I just want to know a little from you, you know, a little better perspective. Yeah, yeah. He gave it to me there. So, thank you, mom. I love you, auntie. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway. Uh, Coming back to your character, you know, it's majority of your chunk is in the first episode and of course in you are there in pivotal scenes in the in the other episodes as well. But your character is something that is the center of attention of the whole show. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. It's so that means the impact that you have to create from your scenes has to obviously be of that level. Yeah. And which definitely I can tell you from watching it was. Thank right? you. So um, how do you prepare for something like that? You know, how do you prepare for a role of that intensity where you have to create that impact? See, the most most of the preparation has been done by the makers, the the writers, uh, director, and the creative team. They've already they've already done so much of prep before even before I even come into the picture, before even the casting is done, that it it is so so delicately so detailed with with all the nuances in place they've, they've put everything in place that when I come into that picture the mold is already ready I just need to fill it in with my you know soul into it as an add add Nandish to it and uh, make Jamshed come alive it's like that um, it's like that Iron Man suit where <laughs> you know you just step into it and it comes alive it's like that so it, it it's been crafted to perfection and not only with Jamshed but all the characters which are you know it's, it's been with all of them 
and uh, that doesn't take away the the fact that uh, we actors come into the picture we we put on put in our uh, our perception to what we think about jamshed but at the same time we also have a lot of guidance because they've already put in so much of hard work yeah. so it's a beautiful balance of what the makers have already decided what how they want jamshed or madan kumar or binod das or jaykhana or or any of these characters to be but at the same time they also give you the liberty of putting in what you feel would make them better right. you know right. you're just adding on top of that to make it even better and and they're open to the idea of doing that and that's what made it made it beautiful because uh, uh, we were not uh, uh, you know at at one point if, you, if if you see one side it is so perfectly crafted that you don't have to do much but at the same time you're given the liberty to do what you want to do so so you you come up with this amazing mixture of things that creates that magic on screen and i feel with vikram sitting behind the monitor and him watching not only what you're saying he's he's observing all the silences he's listening to how your breathing pattern is on his headset he's listening to how your heart be heart is beating in a particular scene because that's what he i got to know yesterday oh. when we were okay. yeah i i was amazed when he said that yesterday because we we were just talking about all this and we were talking about a particular scene and vikram said nandish i uh, when i told you how the scene is what what i'm looking at when he came and told me quietly and he went back to his seat he said i i heard your heartbeat change after that that is the kind of detailing he has gone into you know and you, he knows what you're feeling exactly so how can you go wrong you can you cannot manipulate that yeah i mean if someone has that attention to detail and is, that's is the so kind observant. of sensitivity that's been put into it wow. okay yeah i mean <laughs> Definitely, I guess. Exactly. Uh, That's uh, being out of words after that. Yeah, what I, you I say just that. don't know what to say because um, I guess all I can, the only takeaway I have from this is that the attention to detail and Correct. you know being observant about all these small little nuances Everything. is what will build a character. It's, it has a lot more to do. Uh, there are a lot more things that I thought in my mind. Yeah, and and me too as an artist. I I I didn't know that he would go into so much of detailing, but that's the kind of learning. I'm I'm saying that's the kind of acting workshop filmmaking uh, workshop like he, it's it's an institution being on that set you you're you're always learning something and even now when we're not shooting we we you know just by talking about it we're learning so much it's kind of a template for you know it's one of those shows one of those uh, 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 contents which becomes a template for so many filmmakers in the future so yeah it's 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 really you know uh, overwhelming and it's proud feeling to be a part of it yeah i mean uh, in terms of uh, the way you're explaining it uh, i guess i mean i've always heard about you know uh, collaboration being one of the most important things but uh, collaboration with uh, the right attention to detail where you know someone has that those kind of eyes on you so it sometimes as an actor probably you might feel that you know that there's a huge sense of control that's coming but at the other side they're also giving you freedom to be who you are no there's no control there, there, there he was never trying to control but right. yes he was always observing what you're feeling what you're doing how much of are you invested into the character when you're on the set mm -hmm. how are you changing after you know action is called out right and you could not be in that moment there was there was no way that you could not be in that moment because uh, that is the kind of atmosphere which was created on the set for you the right. the production the costumes the the uh, uh, everything around you it was so perfect that you felt that you're in that era as you said a very collaborative environment uh, great people to work with so who did you have the most fun to work with on set the most fun person on set uh, uh i think everybody but but uh me and apar i think we we connected really well because we had uh, more scenes together mm -hmm. we had more time to spend with each other and uh, apar is a fun person he's right. he's he's high high on energy all the mm -hmm. time and uh, <laughs> he's 
always uh, trying to get uh, get you to eat something on the set <laughs> you know we 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 spoke about food and i heard from uh, i although i didn't have his pinnies on the set i'm having his pinnies now okay <laughs> which he used to get from home but i've heard from everybody that he used to get pinnies on the set uh but yeah it was fun connecting with him because we spoke about uh, our journeys how it's been and uh, how was it when he started and how was it when i started what what were our mindsets uh what space are we in right now so yeah there was a lot of uh, conversation along with laughter about about you know making <laughs> making fun of uh, everybody on the set joking <laughs> around saying so it is good fun uh, that's nice it's always good to because i mean your character is also so intense right sometimes you know you just need that little those little breathers uh, no on set. initially you know what uh, bro i was uh, when i used to walk onto the set i was uh, always in that jamshed mode mm. and uh, uh, everybody thought that i am uh, you know slightly snobbish and i have, okay. i have some attitude problem and i'm arrogant as a person not not no, forget jamshed Yeah. they thought that about me which i got to know later okay because i would talk less i would uh, and, and it, i i wanted to be in that zone to be able to feel jamshed all the time and jamshed is that person who's slightly arrogant he's quiet mm-hmm. and he gives that uh, you know he, he people around him feel intimidated by his presence he's got such an aura so to be able to get that and i am not that person so to be able to get that i i wanted to be in that zone and feel what jamshed feels like you know when he's walking right. uh, when i used to walk on the set uh, as jamshed i could feel the energy around me which was jamshed's energy right. and i could feel people feeling that energy and people thought that you know what what is wrong with him you know what is he, you know why is he like that but then after a few days i figured out you know when i was a little more comfortable with jamshed uh, mm-hmm. and uh, living and you know uh, snapping in and out then it became slightly easier for me right. so that's when that's when people understood that there is a nandish behind jamshed as well yeah i guess i hope this interview is kind of like a myth buster for those people please they, yes you know, no, no watch the interview <laughs> and they know because yeah you've uh, explained it really well about you know the whole the whole jamshed energy you wanted to give out and if people picked up on that then i guess you should be proud of the fact that they thought you were snobbish yeah because I, <laughs> you were off camera also jamshed and on camera also jamshed yeah when i was on the set yes yeah of course and uh, i didn't care about who's feeling what i i only cared about my scene i was very selfish that time i didn't care about who is thinking what about me what is happening yeah. i was just go do it come back into my van be in my zone the entire day for the first initial few days then it became a little easier you know with that whole energy that you had to give out uh, it's also mm-hmm. important because the character is something that needs to be so impactful at the beginning that the impact needs to be felt throughout till the end of the show yeah yeah right so in that sense which scene do you think you found the most challenging mm there is something which is going to be coming in the next lot of episodes i i can't tell next you right as in as in five episodes have released on the okay. 7th and five are releasing on the 14th okay yeah so okay. it's it's there's there's an interval okay. in okay. between okay. 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 and uh, right. and then right. it continues on the 14th okay so uh there there is uh, but i'll tell you out of the f- out of the ones that yeah. have released i think uh the most challenging one was my uh, my introduction scene where the audition scene where i am uh, coming as madan kumar on screen and right. that was my first day of shoot as well so it became all the more challenging for me because uh, you know on the first day i'm doing the most important part of jubilee which is Absolutely. the uh, scene where they're looking for madan kumar the audition scene and which continues throughout the series everybody is doing that part right you know even nilofar is saying jamshed's right. lines yeah, yeah. so uh, i think that was the most challenging day for me the most mm. challenging scene for me right. till in the first 5 episodes right. but when you i think when you watch the next 5 episodes on the after the 14th mm-hmm. then i will tell you there's another scene which was the most difficult okay okay i'm, I'm definitely <laughs> looking forward to that yeah so yeah i will make sure i ask you that question so I guess uh the next question naturally would be something that you're not going to answer which everything everyone's asking 
is Jamshed coming back? Like really, really? Or are we seeing a flashback, Jamshed? I know you're not gonna answer, but you know what? I don't even want to know. I've had enough spoilers. Mom, you've done enough. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> we'll move. We'll move from here. Uh, so if if you want Jamshed to come back, I think that's a good thing. And if you ask that question, uh -huh. uh, that means there is uh, there is a hope for him to come back, and I'm getting that question not only from you I'm getting right. that question from a lot of people right. and a lot of people uh, you know uh, on social media or personally messaging me and asking me people from the fraternity uh, asking me is Jamshed coming back and that's overwhelming because mm -hmm. that shows me how much love this character is getting yeah. um, and all the characters you know uh, uh, it's just been immense love that this entire mm -hmm. story, this entire series and all of us are getting, it's, it's just beautiful. Mm -hmm. So, um, you've had experience in television, you've had experience in film uh, with Super 30, Gee. you've had experience in OTTs. Do you approach these differently? See, the process is somewhat the same. The, the, the process for the actor doesn't change too much. Mm -hmm. Um, I think uh, what changes is um, when I when I used to do television, the only difference there was that uh, you know things work as per how the response is from the audience. The, mm -hmm. the story changes it, and the shows that I did they were not finite shows. They were they were infinite shows where you know it goes on till the time your ratings are good on television and somewhat the creatives and the story keeps changing at, as per what the reaction everybody is giving as in the right. numbers, the right. TRPs. Right. So uh, the approach slightly changes there during when you're doing television mm -hmm. but the prep initially when you sign a show is the same for an actor. Fair enough. On OTT, I think uh, OTT and films is very similar as to how it w goes because you have a proper arc, the story arc is there, your character arc is there, you know how you want to build it up, you know where the story is going, where, where, where there's a middle, where there's an end for, for the characters and uh, yeah, it's more definite, there's, it, there's more concrete but improvisations still happen on the set, things do change on the sets depending on the director's vision, depending on the, how the actor is feeling and how, how the character, how you could make it better in every sense mm. which complements this story. But I think the process f still remains pretty much the same. Do you prefer anything uh, out of that? Like, do you have a preference? Do you enjoy something more? I am enjoying the OTT space and films as of now. I have done television that was a beautiful phase of my life where mm. I started and I learnt a lot in television, mm -hmm. uh, that was my base which was created and it was kind of, uh, you know, a training, uh, uh, those were my training, you know, I, I, I learnt everything on the job. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, that created a beautiful base for me to learn the do's and don'ts of the industry, the do's and don'ts of acting, how things function. And then when I wanted to grow more in my craft, grow as an actor, grow as an artist, I decided that I wanted to, you know, do try out different mediums. Right. So I'm, I'm enjoying the space of uh, OTT and films right now. I, I would also want to, you know, I would love to explore how theater, uh, the theater space. I've not done theaters ever. I, I just did one play in my school, and after that, I've never done theater. So I would want to explore all these mediums. Mm. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful. It's good. You always learn something new from when you do different things with different people, different mediums. I think there's always something to learn. Right, right, right. So, you know, uh, how your journey from where you've started to where you've come, it's, it's, it's a long way. But one of the most important things about that is there are so many actors that try to, you know, get to Bombay, they'll start and it's not everyone's cup of tea to see that through, you know, okay. to, to see the process through. It, it's a very, uh, very ruthlessly competitive industry. It is. And I guess a lot of resilience is, would probably be needed in order to, you know, uh, survive in that or even thrive in that. Survive is first, thrive is like the next step. Correct, correct. So for budding actors, uh, what advice would you like to give? Like what to keep themselves going? Yeah, first thing, I, I don't believe in giving advices because it's, uh, it's something each to his own. There's no specific rule that would work for anybody. There's no template that works for anybody. Mm -hmm. Yes, the only thing that I believe in is uh, uh, listening to people's experiences and sharing my experience. 
whether whether somebody wants to grab something out of it absorb something and implement it that's their call right. you know an advice uh, becomes a bit too heavy when you tell somebody because mm. that might not be the right thing as per the circumstances and situations in his or her life so who am i to advise somebody when i don't know the entire life of that person so uh, and and if for every you know for everybody it works differently you, we are all unique in our own ways we we all have a unique dna we we function in different ways we everything the way we breathe the way we walk and talk everything is different and is it's just that uh, out of my experience i would say uh, get into it jump into it that uh, you know uh, leap of faith if if uh, you you really really want to do it from within then do it go for it and uh, for for me the only thing that's worked probably is uh, that I've, I've, I take responsibility for what I do, and they, I don't keep any regrets in life, or the actions that I've taken, or the decisions that I've made in my life. Just do what you want to do and be proud of it. And if it doesn't work, move on. Don't keep holding on to it. And if you hold on to it, then make sure that you hold on to it strong, and you make sure that it happens. Right. Uh, but never regret in life, because at that point of time. uh it was the best you could do it was the best best decision you could have taken in under those circumstances and uh you're responsible for it it's it's one life enjoy don't take it too, too seriously okay. that's that's the only thing it's it's pretty simple like i i don't think we can say too much apart from that to yeah, anybody I, fair no but i guess we all have the like compulsive need to make the simplest things complicated so i guess yeah but it is it, it's simple just enjoy whatever you do that's it mm-hmm. so do you think uh, nandesh should ever do something like uh, what a like you know a jamshed khan would do uh, leave everything to go to theater and be with his lover instead of you know following his dream to be a star ah no i don't think i'm that i'm i'm going to do that Mm. uh because i'm i uh, first of all jamshed is from a different era so his love that time you know talkies or uh, you know all this was just starting it was the beginning of moving pictures and that was taking over so his love was theater mm. my love is the camera the you know okay. the screen so i would do that for screen so if you tell me would you would nandish do that for films or you know to act in front of the camera and he would leave social media which is a new thing like it's come in the past right. few years yes i would do that okay. but i would not leave this and go to theaters because that was that era this is a different fair, era fair okay i guess that's a very important detail that changes <laughs> pretty much everything so any any uh, particular uh, actor or director or anyone in particular that you would like to work with that you haven't worked with yet a lot of them uh, uh, vishal bharadwaj uh, sir then uh, uh, abhishek chobe uh, a lot of directors then new new directors who have coming up you know i uh, uh, my director uh, who was uh, ranjan chandel who directed grahan i was there and i really want to do more work with him there's uh, uh, vishal furia who's done criminal justice there's there's some amazing uh, directors right. out there i you know uh, i can go on and on the list is you no, know no, huge fair enough, fair enough. but uh, my only thing is that i i want to work with uh, people who who are so passionate and the names that i've taken i, I see their work they they just passionate about what they do and uh, uh, first is the story how uh, you know they they all their energies all their focus all everything is towards creating that uh, script and creating that story and telling that story and how it reaches the audience i think anybody who does that even if it's the a first time director they're doing some amazing job mm-hmm. and uh, i would want to work with everybody nice so, okay that makes sense i mean you've taken some great names out there so 
nobody can dispute that and i definitely definitely hope that you know you get a chance to work with them and they get a chance to work with you because uh, i am sure we're going to see a lot more performances like jubilee Thank and you. Uh, even better and better so what's what's next for nandish yeah next to abhi i have no idea what is next and uh, the, the idea that i have i can't talk about it right okay, now fair enough, fair enough. so so uh, but yes uh, interesting things are happening and uh, it's a good space i'm enjoying this space and god has been kind and uh, this is released at a good time when uh, you know uh, i needed it mm. i i wanted this to release and to be uh, uh, viewed by the audience and be uh, be screened by everybody and give me a feedback you know it's it's a good uh, validation and uh, appreciation when it comes your way from people from the fraternity it feels good and you feel that okay you're moving in the right direction and i i feel that i am moving in the right direction and good things are happening right absolutely so thank you so much for being here uh, okay. it was a really nice chat uh, and i definitely definitely hope to have another chat with you soon thank you very because uh, the second half of this uh, show is yet to come and yeah. uh, i'm sure there's a lot more to uncover especially that very challenging scene of yours i hope that i see it and i figure it out because i'm sure it'll look yeah I, it'll it will look that intense it'll be lovely to hear it from you if you could figure that out oh yeah that that'll be fun <laughs> okay so everyone stay tuned uh, watch jubilee on amazon prime video <laughs> <laughs> thank you yeah.